Hi, it's uh, Jeff Pulver and welcome to Jeff's Place. I'd like to thank all of you from around the world for coming in and to, uh, for joining us today. Uh, we are a, a virtual coffee house and I'm um, really excited about today's show. And I'm grateful to all the artists that are joining us. I, I ask all of you to uh, look into the chat to uh, look for the social media links so you could follow the artists. And if you can, please be generous with the tips. And uh, I'd like to uh, start the show and uh, head over to uh, Eugene, Oregon, and uh, uh, welcome Emily back. Uh, good morning to you. How, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. I'd like to give a shout out to your mom who's here today. Yes. Happy birthday to my mom. She is. There she is. <laughs> um, April Fool's Day. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, we're having a fun morning here. It's nice and sunny out today, so that's been nice, too. That's but, wonderful. Yeah. So. Um, Thank you for joining for, for saying yes to, to playing first. Uh, so what are we going to Well, I guess it's going to be a special set for your mom today. Yeah, I got some stuff thrown in for her, too. I also like got some stuff that I haven't done in a long time. So um, trying to spice it up a little bit. But well, yeah, thank um, I, got, I have one original and mostly covers. But yeah, it's so all excited. good. Well, the stage is yours. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to start off with a Billie Eilish cover, actually. Um, this is a song about murder, if nothing else, and it's called <laughs> Bellyache. I hope you like it. Sitting all alone, mouth full of gum in the driveway my friends aren't far in the back of my car lay their bodies where's my mind where's my mind we'll be here pretty soon looking through my room for the money I'm biting my nails I'm too young to go to jail It's kind of funny Lost my mind I don't mind Where's my Everything I do, the way I wear my noose, like a necklace. I want to make them scared, like I could be anywhere, like I'm reckless. Lost my mind, I beautiful that was a wonderful cover thank you <laughs> and uh if you ever go out and see billy on the road uh two friends uh of mine work for her really uh, that's one, cool. one is uh, her tour manager and one is uh, produces her his wife produces uh, her shows wow that's so and, cool and earlier in the back in the summer of 2020 uh uh dick macy uh and nicole were guests of mine on the show and uh uh, yeah, they're actually Dick is uh, from the movie The Commitments. He's one of my friends. In the movie, he played the drummer, and uh, 
he went on to become tour manager or assistant tour manager for a bunch of artists, but he's right now working for Billy. Wow, that's Both really of them cool. are actually. So. That's impressive too, because her tours are crazy. Yeah, like, like the seven, she puts seventeen on trucks, awesome. seventeen wow. trucks. To, they they go from 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 stadium to stadium. Wow, that's crazy. That's so cool. Very very cool. All right, I'm gonna tone it down a little bit now. This is an original of mine. This is called um, "From Now On." I put it out last September, so if you want to hear it again, you can. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. I went from being no one to knowing you all in a few hours time I went from loving someone to missing you feelings I cannot unwind a ghost from your past came out that night I wish you would have told me it was wrong instead you pulled away and twisted the knife is this where we will be from now on I see her pull you closer I watch your eyes but your gaze goes from me to her instead She won't ever love you I say out of spite But your lips start to fill with regret A ghost from your past came out that night I wish you would have told me it was wrong Instead you pulled away and twisted the knife Is this where we will be from now on? as fast as you came I went from being someone to watching you act just like nothing had changed I'm tired of staying the same Wow, I I love the the way it's presented. I actually love the this acoustic version of that song. It is beautiful. Thank you. And it's so haunting and so special, and it's very. It's beyond wow, but I'll just say it's wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do an Adele cover actually, which I'm always scared of doing because covering Adele is like not an easy thing to do but this is one of her more um this is a more like low-key song so I figured it would be worth a shot I haven't played this one in a little while either this is one where this was requested by my dad so you can see him too but um yeah this is a request from him this is called Daydreamer off of her first album and I hope you enjoy Tune that a little more. Make sure it's all good. If it's not in tune, it will not sound good. <laughs> okay. Daydreamer sitting on the seat, soaking up the sun heat. Is a real lover and make. 
Picking up the past and feeling up his girl like he's never felt a figure before. Jar dropper looks good when he walks. He's the subject of the talk. He would be hard. To chase, but good to catch, and he could change the world with his hands behind his back. Oh, you can find him sitting on your doorstep. That he'll be there for life. Daydreamer with eyes that make you melt. He lands his coat for shelter 'cause he's there for you. Shouldn't be, but he stays all the same. Waits for you, then sees you through. There's no way I could describe him. What I'll say is just. And I will find him sitting on my doorstep. Beautiful! Wow. Um, yeah, you can sing Adele. You can sing the phone book. I I, I get that. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. Thank you. But, um, yeah. Uh, wow. Sorry, go ahead. That was wonderful. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that was Daydreamer. Um, I'm gonna definitely pick it up a little bit now. I'm gonna tune down to um, Open D really fast. So don't mind me. Um, but thank you again for having me on here. I keep, um, I feel like every day I think about that songwriter show and it just brings me so much joy. That was so much fun getting to do that. Well, so, we'll do another you. one. And, uh, you know, it was certainly one of my favorite moments to, to, to just be part of that. It was just a lot of, I had read about how to host and, uh, it was just really opening, uh, inspiring and, uh, just pure beauty. So thank you for yeah for being part of the first one. It was so nice. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was so fun. Um, okay, sorry, I'm almost ready. This always takes a second. Um, okay, we're gonna pick it up. One. This is one that I'm doing for my mom. She requested this one. Um, okay, we're gonna do some Joni Mitchell. Feel free to sing along at home if you want to. This is definitely one of those songs. Oh, they 
pave paradise and put up a parking lot With a pink motel, a boutique, and a swinging hotspot Well, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone They pave paradise and put up a parking lot all the trees and put them in a tree museum and they charge the people a dollar and a half just to see them well don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone they pay paradise and put up a parking lot hey farmer farmer put away that ddt now Spots on my apples, believe me, the birds and the bees. Please, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. Late last night, I heard the screen door slam. And a big yellow taxi took away my home. Wow, wow, that was amazing, great, wow. Uh, please turn <laughs> on those you. cameras, give some applause out <laughs> to Emily, please. And uh, please be generous with tips, They're looking to find their tip jar and just, Emily, that was great uh, and you. fun. And uh, there's much love in the, in the chat for you and, uh, and Greta, happy birthday to you. Uh, and, wow. Thank you um, so much, thank you. I am, um, yeah, that one is very, very, very fun. A classic for sure. Yeah. Um, I have one more for you, if that's okay. Yeah, that, we're one... running early, so that's totally fine. Okay, cool. This one is um, this one is the real birthday one for my mom. That was like the kind of birthday one. Um, this one is one that I don't play very often, and I'm honestly a little bit nervous to play it now because it's been a while since I've played it, but. We're gonna do it for her anyway, and you'll forgive me if I make mistakes. <laughs> No worries. Um, okay, let's make sure this is all good. All right, let me pull something up here. Okay, I don't know if any of you watch the show Shit's Creek, but it's my mom's favorite show of all time. So um, this is one of her favorite songs from that show. One of the characters on this on the show, if you haven't watched it, covered a old Tina Turner song and did his own like really cool acoustic rendition of it so that's what i'm gonna play for you today is his version of the tina turner song um yeah so i hope that you enjoy it thank you again for having me on here it's always a pleasure and I'm trying to like it's, <laughs> it's hard to multitask okay okay i think we're good now but anyway thanks again for having me on here and this is simply the best and I hope that you enjoy it all right I call you when I need you and my heart's on fire you come to me wild and wired you come to me Give me everything I need Give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams Speak the language of love like you know what it means And it can't be wrong Take my heart and make it strong, babe You're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone 
anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart I hang on every word you say Tear us apart Baby, I would rather be dead In your heart I see the start of every night and every day In your eyes I get lost, I get washed away Just as long as I'm here in your arms I can be in no better place You're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart I hang on every word you say Tear us apart Baby, I would rather be dead, oh Each time you leave me, I start losing control Are you walking away with my heart and my soul? I can feel you, babe, even when I'm alone Baby, don't let go, you're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart, babe I hang on every word you say Tear us apart Baby, I would rather be dead Ooh. Oh, you're the best that was beautiful. Uh, cover of a cover, but you you made it yours too. My goodness. Give it on our family. That was beautiful. And uh, happy birthday, Greta. Really, happy birthday. And uh, I Thanks love that. Thanks so much. That Thank was, you. That was wonderful. So, Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, I'll see you again soon, I hope. And uh, <laughs> yes, definitely. we'll follow up on some uh, concerts and some other stuff. I uh, Thank you so much for uh, helping us start the show and open the day. And uh, really, really great to have you. Of course, thank you. Um, all right, we're gonna switch from Eugene, Oregon, over to uh, to Dublin, to Ireland, to uh, to James. And uh, uh, good evening, James. Uh, how are you? How you doing over there? Not too bad, Jeff. You keeping well? Not too bad. Keeping busy. Uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, no problem. Uh, thank you for having me. For uh, folks who uh, haven't heard you before, could you share a little bit about uh, yourself, uh, your influences? Um. Yeah. My name is James. Um, <laughs> I play music. Um, I'm really inspired by like uh, folks like Bruce Springsteen, um, Bob Dylan. A lot of the kind of there's a lot of like Americana sounds I quite like at the moment, like uh, Nathaniel Rateliff and um, Need the Breed and stuff like that. So they're really good bands. Um, just that kind of overall folky Americana sound. That's what I like. And I have to say, uh, last summer when I was. Uh putting the show together, your, your, um, live shows or the recordings of your shows uh, on, uh, on Grafton street were awe inspiring. And, thank uh, you. And, I, and I thank you for, for coming back. Um, great to have you live. So, uh, the stage is yours, uh, and, uh, please, uh, take it away. Problem. Thank you. Well, I'm going to start with a little cover. Um, I always play this cover, but <laughs> it's a good cover. Um, probably know when you hear it, but it's a Springsteen song. Yeah. Hey, little girl, and daddy, home do you go and leave you all alone? Oh, Got a bad desire Oh, I'm on fire Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? Will you do to you the things I won't do? Won't I take you high, darling? Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. 
though it's like someone took a knife, baby, edgy and dull. Now six inch valley through the middle of my school, yeah. And I don't wake up with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train rolling through the middle of my head. And cool my desire, darling. I'm on fire Oh, I'm on fire Oh, I'm on fire Though it's like someone took a knife Edgy and dope Six inch valley through the middle of my soul I don't wake up with the sheets soaking wet, a freight train rolling through the middle of my head. Won't you call my desire? Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Hey now girl, is your daddy old? Did he go away and leave you all alone? Got a bad desire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. It's good spring scene. Yeah, Thank you. A very haunting, beautiful, amazing edition of I'm on fire. Thank you. <laughs> that was so, great. Yeah. Um, that was one of my own songs. to help you with a name. <laughs> if anyone has suggestions. Is, what was the influence, uh, backstory? Uh, it was a few years ago. Um, it was just kind of like, broke up with somebody, kept kind of getting back together, not getting back together. It's it just typical, typical drama. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to say, babe. I'm feeling real lost. I'm feeling real lost. And I don't know what to say. The words aren't the same. They don't feel the same. This time passes by. You can't turn those feelings off Cause it's been a while yeah, And I can't help but miss you, darling Hold you like I used to. If I could say it was over, this would be so much easier. This would be so much easier. This time. 
time passes by You can't tell the sweet song It's been a while And I can't help no So thank you. What was the name of the person you the breakup was about? Uh, that's long gone. <laughs> uh, no, I was gonna say I would name it after the person, uh, or or take your hook. But oh my goodness, uh, that was an absolutely wonderful song. I thought, you know, listening to that, it sounded like you know, it, 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 it you know, I don't know, it, it it was beautiful. It was a wonderful song. I I was trying to figure out who who sang it, and I realized it was you because I heard the song from you before. It's like it's your yeah, song. yeah. I think I played it here before. Yeah, I know, and it's like it was in my brain. I was like, oh my goodness, wow. So, Thank if you. anyone here has any suggestions for the song, for the name of the song, please put it in the chat. Please help James name this song. It's been unnamed for so long. It deserves a name. So if you have a suggestion, don't be shy. Put it in the chat. Thank you. Um, I think I'll do another cover and then I'll do another original. Just Wonderful. Uh, I was sitting there last day and I was like going through all the songs I knew and the cover songs and it's been so long since I've like bust or like played gigs like in Temple Bar or anything like that. Like there's just no, um, I just forget half the cover songs. <laughs> so, yeah, well, look, I, I hope seeing some of the people here gives you at least the feeling that you're not alone, that there, there are faces oh, no, no, and people lovely. that are connected. Yeah, uh, I really like this set. Step one, you say we need to talk. He walks and say, sit down, it's just a talk. He smiles politely, I'm back at you. You stare politely and right on true. Some sort of wind or two, you're right. Seagulls left and you stay right. Between the lines of fear and blame, you begin to wonder why. Oh, where did I run from? Lost a friend. Somewhere alone in bed and there survived I'd stay there with you all night Then I'd know how to save her She begins to raise his voice And lower yours for around him One last choice to stop until you Well, there were one two things you were there to everything. And all you say is just not the same. You begin to wonder why. Oh, where did I go wrong? Those friends who were alone in the bedness of fire. I'd stay there for you all night. Then I'd know. I say, even where did I go wrong? Lost and failed somewhere alone in the bedness of fight. I'd stay there for you all night. Then I'd know I'd save the life.
let him know you know this and after all you know this try and slip this his defense with our friends senses let up unless the world is wrong things that so them all along pray to God he is you said you pray to God he is you and where did I go wrong the spirits and we're alone in the faithfulness of God I'd speed up you all night did I know how to save her where did I go If I, I'd stayed up with you all night, then I'd know how to save them. Where did I go wrong? Lost the friends. And if I, I'd stayed up with you all night, then I'd know how to save a life. Wow. wow. How to save a life. Wow. I was, uh, I, li I, I like your version much, you know, it's much more intense than the fray. I have to say, it's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> You're serious. Uh, I, wow. I tend to be quite intense. <laughs> it's, it's intense in a good way. It, it, I love that intensity. It's like, whoa. Thank you. Oh, okay. I think yeah, we yeah. can all feel your intensity, which is a nice thing. Right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave you one more song. Uh, this is called Leave You Like This. I wrote it quite recently. Um, if, you, if you wanna find it online, you can find it on YouTube or on my Instagram. Leave, leave You Like This? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is there a story behind this? Um, not a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> um, they never last, Jeff. But um, One day they may last longer. I might rap, I might rap a happy song then, you know? <laughs> I'm <laughs> calling out your name And the words you said that night Are still ingrained in my brain I don't know why they play on repeat at night Before I close my eyes What are you looking for? And you still haven't figured it out, dear And I've been here before So I know myself inside out without any doubt. And 
I don't want to leave you like this. I don't want to leave you like this So just breathe That anxious feeling in your chest, darling Nothing to believe You're leading yourself in distress well, darling, can't you see? I'm just taking a little time and just be. And I don't want to leave you like this. I don't want to leave you like this And I don't want to leave you like this Uh, for James, that was great. Turn on those cameras, show some applause, share some love if you can. Share a tip. My goodness, James, that Thank was you great. Much. I Thank love you your intensity. Me. I love that the growl. You know, it's absolutely yeah. intense uh, in a beautiful way. I uh, okay, love to have you come back, it. and it's, it's wonderful. I'd love to, to come back. You. You uh, I just want to say uh, the the lady that was before me, Emily, yes. her uh, cover of uh, "Simply the Best," amazing. I loved it. It was so nice. Ah. So uh, yeah. I look forward to seeing the rest of the guys play. And uh, yeah. Thank you, James. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for having me. Oh, our pleasure. Truly our pleasure. Um, we're going to stay on that side of the pond and head over to Matt and check in and say, good evening, Matt. How, how are you doing? Not too bad, Jeff. Yourself, sir? Uh, having fun tonight. Uh, could you please do a proper introduction of yourself? How are you going, folks? Uh, Matt McGinn is my name. I'm uh, uh, here just about maybe 40 minutes south of Belfast in the north of Ireland and uh, singer songwriter producer and I suppose hopefully uh, I'll stay that way you never know retraining might be an issue if this thing doesn't uh, get back to normal soon enough but uh, for the meantime I'm hanging in there hope you're all well wonderful and uh, how long have you been in uh, making music 
Uh, oh, uh, could go the whole way back to, you know, singing harmonies with the family in the back of the Nissan Bluebird to Johnny Cash and the Mamas and the Papas when I was about five or six years of age. Um, and then started a, a, a traditional session when I was about maybe 17 or 18. And I think I got a few pound for playing music and a few pints thrown in as well. And I think I was hooked after that. Wow. Well, <laughs> I'm happy to have you back and uh, stage is yours. And thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. And uh, well done, James. Well done, Emily, of course. Uh, he's always amazing. But James, good hearing you for the first time. And um, yeah, cheers, folks. I'm going to start off with one. Um, I can't even remember what I sang the last time, so apologies for repeat myself. But um, this is one of the first ones that I co-wrote. It was with a young fella called Michael Logan from Nashville, who uh, happened to be over in Belfast, and I met up with him and wrote this here. So hope you enjoy it. It's called Lay. Your lines You said A thousand times Every single verse So well Rehearsed So lie One more time I just can't take, take the truth from you, so please lie, please lie. The bond is too deep, we've lost more than we can so play by and rewind until until it's time and lie one more time cause I just can't take take the truth from you, so please lie, please lie. Please 
last night Please lie Wow, oh my God, that was amazing. You sound Thanks. terrific and beautiful words and the melody just, wow. Thank you very much. Oh, you're too kind. You're so too kind. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> I, it's, look, look in the chat. There's love here for you, man. Oh. Absolutely true. God, and I'm, I'm just like, you know, traveling with your words. There's just something really special about that. Wow. Well, the the, uh, the one thing I found about that song, which was useful, was, as I said, as my first co-write, and um it's sort of it, it pictures somebody in a bad place in a relationship basically when the two of you are you know constantly sort of you know deceiving each other and um i found it, it quite useful whenever you go back to your other half and they say yeah that sounds like a somebody who's in a pretty bad relationship and you're going yeah the other guy yeah he's he's having a tough you know <laughs> yeah, I hear you. You feel it. Uh, but yeah no uh, um and uh, just never see the chat there. There's Greta. Happy birthday, Greta. Hope you're well. <laughs> very good, very good. So, um, what'll I try next? Uh, let me see how this set list. And I've gone off at the radio one song. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. There's one that um, it's, it's a root, uh, it's another co write. Um, with a, a friend of mine, a lady called Bridget O'Neill, who lives about forty miles that way, and um, it's a it's a song we wrote one day. She just actually put it out. I, I haven't recorded this yet, but I might someday. And um, she just put it out as a single, where she teamed up during lockdown with a producer in Nashville, and she's kind of recorded it over Zoom, and it sounds fantastic. But um, it's called Prayers. Give it a blast. Uh, is this the is this the right key? Ah, give it a go. Oh, we just travelers on the road. Searching for a pot of gold, we're buying up trees with nothing to sell. It's a setup on the road to hell. Oh, your prayers won't save you now, save you now, save you now. Oh, your prayers gonna save you now, save you now. We're a one stop shop to save your soul. It's a cell, won't grow old, a tooth for a tooth and a knife for a knife. Don't mean nothing when I bleed you dry. Or your prayer's gonna save you now, save you now, save you now. Or your prayer's gonna save you now, save you now. Just 
travelers on the road Searching for a pot of gold Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I'm beyond the wow now, but I, it's a great, great, beautiful song. I, uh, thank you. Uh, it's mad uh, how sometimes you uh whenever you meet up for a co-write with somebody and uh and uh, i don't know maybe so, uh, sometimes you just have something that you really want to get off your chest and it ends up being a, a song well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like... it's a, sometimes the best way to express yourself right is to write <laughs> yeah. and yeah. to share it and then if it turns into a song it's a blessing it's a gift you know and it's uh sometimes it's those words are eternal they need to be heard you know and those feelings are universal they they are shared and felt so it's uh, it's all good nice one nice one sir. um i'm looking forward to i, I don't even want to get into this chat too much but it's lovely to to lovely to other people there all. they're they're loving you trust yeah. me they're, they're appreciating <laughs> your your magic uh, i love i love uh it's the first time that I've played to anybody on what I believe is the Starship Enterprise. So I salute you, sir. <laughs> I, I, I can give you the Milky Way behind me. Uh, uh, I, I do astrophotography in my spare time and uh, I am, oh, it's not there, but uh, I will find it. Um, but I, I have uh, all sorts of uh, fun stuff, um, but not that. Um, I'll, I'll get back, back to where I am. Back. I, I'm, I'm sort of lost right now. And clearly I'm lost in space. Uh, that much is, uh, how much is clear? Uh, but I'll get back. Uh, wrong kind of... Very good. Well, I, well, 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 oh, there you are, Jeff. Good, good. Missed you there. I'm back. there I am. Now, now, now I'm in space. But actually, I took this picture. This is a, the Milky Way rising. Oh, oh, you took that yourself? Yeah, yeah. I do. I, oh. my, when I'm not hosting Jeff's place, I, I, I spend time when I can going to places to see the stars, to feel That's the amazing. stars, and to connect galactically. It's uh, it's on my bucket list to just I mean I've got half decent SLR and stuff like that there but it's on my bucket list just before a day I want to take a decent picture of the well, moon. I'm happy to share with you some of the things I learned taking pictures. It's just oh. it's being in the right place at the right time if you have the equipment. But uh, about six years ago I went on a journey that I'm still on to photograph the night sky. Brilliant. Well, that's that's a good that's a, that's a damn good start there. Very good. Lovely. Well, here I'm going to what I'm going to try. I was going to do one, but it's another venting song, so I'm going to try a wee love song instead. Um, and this is normally a very slow song. I'm just in the mood to sort of jazz it up a wee bit, so I might try that. Painful, I find was hurting you with the honest words I spoke. Finding out the hard way that to be true could cut just like a sword. But a new dawn brings a new day to wash clean the dust. Still hold the roses, roses never rust. We may be loose at the seams, lose inside of what it means. Still, we hold on before we know no one is leaving. Scares, I'll let it show, and if it means bearing up my soul, this is me. That's the one thing you can believe in. Ourselves catching waterfalls just to have it in our hands. Some nights we hold each other around the flooded bay as only 
be too kind But a new dawn brings a new day To wash clean the dust We still hold the roses Roses never run At the siege, losing the sight of what it means. Still, we hold on, for we know no one is leaving. And if it stands, I'll let it show. And if it means bearing up my soul, this is me. Yeah. That's the one thing you can believe in. We may be loose at the seams, lose inside of what it means. But still we hold on, for we know no one is leaving. Show. If it means bearing up my soul, this is me. Yeah. That's the one thing you can believe in. This is me. Yeah. That's the one thing you can believe. Cheers, folks. I like that. I, I like how you jazzed it up. It's uh, pretty, uh, that, that intensity is just beautiful. Oh, cool. I'll probably never, ever do it the same way again. So thanks for being but, the you know, It's good like that. It, you know, it's, it's funny. If you're you know, fans of artists that record, all you know them is by their recordings, and you go to their concerts, and they play it so differently, it takes a little bit of time to, uh, to get used to it. But then it's like, you get used to it. And, and you, I like the diversity, because it means the concerts will never be boring. Yeah. And uh, and they get and you as an artist you get to reinterpret the words and the melodies and be in the flow of the moment as you as you perform which is magical right so it's, yeah. it's good. I actually find myself uh, of recent especially doing on stream um, uh, performances where you sort of get to you know experiment a little bit and I'm starting to realize that a lot of my earlier songs and I think it was because like I'm from the country here like the nearest neighbor is like about I don't know like half a mile that way and um, for a good few years whenever I started writing the songs I was actually living up in the city and you could almost hear the neighbors next door and I think for that reason all of my songs were like like th that song there was like we may be loose at the seams and now all of a sudden I'm going through my old catalog going ah there's nobody there's nobody next door I can blast this out <laughs> so um, a lot of my songs now are a bit of bit more vibrant but uh, I think I've come to my last one so many thanks for having me as always Jeff and Lauren and Harry and uh, and uh, yeah uh, great artists past Emily and uh, James and looking forward to seeing all the resties as well so thank you Matt thanks for being part of uh, Jeff's Place tonight it's uh, really an honor to have you and all the artists and uh, look forward to inviting you back and I will follow up on uh, songwriting and stuff so uh Thank Excellent. You so much. Really. Well, this 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 last one here is one that I just released. I might actually put in the Spotify link into the the chat whenever I'm finished up here, uh, because the recording of it's pretty cool. There's a, a fiddle player from Donny Gall on it, and oh, you, he's you just, got a fiddle play. Really, you got it. Wow. Okay. Oh, it, 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 and he just he makes it sound. It's almost like it's it, he makes it like he's a he's a lovely player and he, he plays a lot of like country and traditional but i was like you know just imagine that you're the jimmy hendrix of the fiddle sure. and he just digs in deep you know so uh, i'll put in the link and uh, hope you enjoyed this is the last one thank you folks this I've been thinking maybe we can do with her these troubles that we share 
its own life. All I do is try to live without a promise, start without a prayer. But I've been dreaming, turning, sleeping. Give me what she got, and hey, something is falling me on. Hey, someone keeps pushing me on. It just takes one to keep me going on and on and on and on and on. Something is pulling me on. Lately, you've been trying to show me more than I could hope for, less than I can bear. But after all that's said and done. Well, I'm still trying to reach you, and I'm still trying to care. But I'm still dreaming, turning, sleeping. Give me what you got, and hey, something is pulling me on. Hey, someone keeps pushing me on. It just takes one. Going on and on and on and on and on. Something is pulling me on. Reason, witnesses, and near relief. Hold it with everything. Someone keeps pushing me on It just takes one To keep me going on and on and on and on and on Something is pulling me on Someone keeps pushing me on It's you that keeps pushing me on and 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 on. Hey! Wow. wow Cheers, folks. <laughs> Matt, that was awesome. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you. You're very That was good. absolutely, oh my goodness. Wow. Um, thank you so much. It's just, wow. Well, I look forward to uh, hearing how uh, the, the the mix you have recorded on Spotify with that. My oh, wow. thank you. Yeah, feel free to check it out and whatever, save it or follow on Spotify and stuff like that there. So, Well, but, thank uh, you for sharing your evening with us. And uh, it's just magical. And uh, it's really, for all the artists, it's just really nice to have all of you. And I'm grateful. So uh, thanks, Matt. I am, uh, whew, that was just wonderful. All right, I'm going to head over <laughs> to our, our next guest. Uh, uh, joining us, um, Bill. Um, I believe, uh, Bill, it's um, your turn. Uh, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. How are you? Everything's good so far. I love it. Oh, wonderful. So, could you please do a proper introduction of yourself? Absolutely. Yeah. My name is Bill Hartman. I'm down in uh, South Florida. Um, I am a singer songwriter. And uh, fortunately for me, there's been a lot of playing most of the year in for Florida. So, I've been able to get out and play. And I feel bad for everybody that's talking about how much they miss it because I kind of haven't had that problem, but uh, it's been fun, you know, I'm not, uh, but uh, I hope to everybody else gets to play soon because it's a lot of fun to play all live. Uh, could you share some of you who some of your early influences were? Absolutely. Um, I started playing professionally back in the uh, late 70s. So uh, uh, Jim Croce, uh, James Taylor, especially Harry Chapin. Harry Chapin is my uh, my uh, mentor, although he doesn't know it and never knew it. But uh, wow. Uh, Singer songwriters and, and and story songs were were always my thing. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the story. We grew up with Harry Chapin, and uh, I loved his story songs. And a few weeks ago, I was fortunate to have his daughter Jen here as a guest, uh, and uh, she performed and shared some stories. She gave me a homework though to watch his documentary, which I watched twice. Uh, she teaches; she, she's a history teacher when she's not performing, and uh, 
And in, in July, we're going to celebrate 40 years since the passing of Harry Chapin, which should be a very special show. I haven't found out yet which artists we're going to have or whether I should invite some of our artists to come part, be part of it. But it's, uh, you know, it's the story songs that kind of carry everything. Well, thanks for being part of Thanks for saying yes. And uh, I'll hand you the stage. And um, the stage is yours, uh, Bill. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do uh, start out with an original tune. This is called... Uh, Fighting Back Tears, and I had the uh, I had the music for this song about three years before I had the words for it, because every time I sat down to put lyrics to it, nothing seemed to fit right. And uh, I was working on it late one night, and uh, I got disgusted, set it down, the phone rang. I picked up the phone. It was someone I hadn't talked to in a really, really long time, and we got into a conversation about five minutes in. I remember why we hadn't talked in a really long time. And after about a 40-minute agonizing phone call, I hung up and I had the song. It's called Fighting Back Tears. <laughs> Same place we have been many years. We talk about all kinds of things. Where we've been, what's been happening? People we both knew from way back when. When I call you, but you call me. Does it really matter? Another chance to set us free. I'm for the things you haven't said, the words I really need to hear. Can I say anything? We begin and end. Is this all there'll ever be? In my mind, I'm turning back the pages of our life. The conversation just drags on. I think if you could, maybe could you back away a little bit from the, uh, um, maybe the, move the microphone a little bit away from the guitar because there was, 
It's a yeah, little, a little overmodulated, Bill. A little overmod, different from sound check. So I just yeah, uh, that's because I had a I had my PC blow up on me. I have to switch over to another computer in the middle of everything. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It sounds great. It just thought maybe you could back. Just, I'll back I, off I, a little bit. No yeah, problem. I think we're flat topping a little bit. Um, okay. But, uh, on the, the car, sounds it's wonderful, okay? Bill. It's it, it, you know I, I'm listening to the words. I'm into it, and then I'm realizing, wait a second, it's it's a little loud. So um. Your vo your vocals are fine. It's just it's it, it's just it, it may have been a little overmodulated, but no problem. Uh, I'll just back off a little bit. Okay, cool. Good deal. Um, I was driving down the road one day, and uh, it's a weird morning in South Florida when you can roll the window down and not have to use the air conditioning. And uh, I don't know if it was because of the way that the wind was coming through the window or the way the light was reflecting through the trees, but it suddenly kind of reminded me it was when I was in my teens driving in the Pocono Mountains up in Pennsylvania, and I thought, you know, that was kind of a cool feeling. And uh, I thought that'd make a really nice song. So I came back home, I went on Facebook and I hit up all my friends and I said, you know, this is what I want to do. Give me some ideas. And I got about four hours worth of material that I had to whittle down to four minutes. And uh, the song is called, uh, um, what is the song called? <laughs> I don't believe it. Younger Days. And it's also, it's uh, on YouTube as a video. Early yesterday, started the car and drove away, trying to make the best of a busy day. Some was breaking through the tree, arousing some forgotten need. Roll the window down and touch the wind. In the day, maybe long, simply away, finding time for me was not so tough. Oh, I was there. Wish I could have stayed in younger days. Friday high school football game. Faces with forgotten names. You know my life is spinning at the name. Riding in my uncle's Jeep. Fishing in some local creek. Paying a poor game with my buddy Joe. Nothing but those kept in a job, road trips in the family car, cruising on a Sunday afternoon. It just seems so far away, now it's just another day. Wish I could have stayed in younger days. Nice message too, and uh, wow, I was wondering. I I, I liked. I I heard that before. I heard the recording of it. that. Was just beautiful. So thank you, Bill. That was. Uh, thank that you was much. Nice. Yeah, hey, that's uh, that was actually released back in May, so it's it's available online as well. Uh, I I don't think I'm going to do any covers. I'm going to do another original. Um, oh, please do. By by the way, I want to give a shout out to the folks who are listening in the chat. Could you please drop your location so people could see that we are literally a. Uh, a global audience here so uh 
uh, if you can't just drop in your city or where you're from so uh, we can see where you all let them come in. Um, so anyway, Bill, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no problem. I, I was just noodling. Uh, anyway, um, I go to the, it didn't go last year, but every year for the past couple of years, go up to the uh, Songwriters Festival, Smoky Mountain Songwriters Festival in uh, Gatlinburg. It's something different this year. But anyway, the couple of years ago we were there and it was the last show, the last set, the last song. And there were three hits, uh, country songwriters on stage. And I don't remember the fellow's name that was doing the last song, but I know it was in his late seventies and he introduced himself and the guys in the band and everything. And the guys on stage rather with him, thanked everybody for all the years of listening. And then he said, uh, this is his last performance ever at the songwriter festival because his cancer had come back. Oh. I always choke up when I do this. And, uh, uh, he didn't think he'd be around next year. And, uh, I started writing this song in my head. It took me uh, two years, but, um, one night in the middle of the Smokies in a cabin finished up. It's called take me home. The stories are there. It's just wonderful, and, and it's. I, I appreciate how hard it is, right, to get those stories, to get the songs together, the words with the music, the music with the words. But when it oh, comes yeah. together, it's, <laughs> it's magical. You know, I'll tell you. Um, this has been the the most fun uh, online thing that I've done. Um, you, everybody's been really great. Uh, the, the people that are watching are just great. Some of the stuff in chat is wonderful. I'm I'm glad you guys hit me up on this, and I, I really enjoy myself. Do I have one more? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to do a. This is a song that I'm thinking of doing a video to. It's called um, Someone That You Never Really Knew. And the backstory on it is kind of that I was thinking about 
people that I've known over the years that have had relationships that should have not have been in relationships because they just did not get along. One was always trying the other one and trying to change the other one. The other one knew that's not going to happen. And that's kind of where it came from. It's someone that you never really knew. I've got nothing left to say to you. Thanks for sharing your, your magic with us uh, this afternoon. And Thanks for the invite. Had a great please, time. Please uh, give guys. it up. Uh, th thanks so much, Bill, for being part of us. And uh, now I'm going to head over to uh, to Mike and uh, his friend. Uh, good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee on the east side. This is Brian Keith. We've been hey, together Brian. about four years. Uh, we write songs together. All the songs we'll do today are original songs uh, composed by me and a few others around. But uh, I'd like to say this is enjoyable. Uh, really something going here. We're going to start with a song. It's uh, kind of a breakup song, but it's not any animosity between the people. It's just something that happens, as we all know. Ready when you are, maestro. <laughs> Come all undone. Do you 
blame it on life's ebb and flow when there ain't a good way to go couldn't you say another's taking my place my kiss no longer makes your heart race makes it tough Heading for the leaving road When there ain't a good way to go What do you say when nobody wrongs And the silence you hear is the end of the song My oh my don't the nights Crawl by slow When there ain't A good way to go All right Only memories Crossing this floor Oh, they're getting to me Doors hard to open It's hell to close When there ain't A good way to go What do you say when no And there ain't a good way to go No, there ain't a good way to go wow, That was one of the absolutely <laughs> right. beautiful, my goodness, I love it. This next song I wrote with a friend of mine uh, uh, from Oklahoma. I'm from Oklahoma. It's... Um, has to do with the the man side of uh, growing up. Sometimes the best things in life aren't planned, like the smile from the one who lights your sun when she takes your hand. Says, "Come here, hun." need to talk to you, I got the news, ready or not, you're a family man. He's working extra hours, buying time, time he loved to spend, giving all to them, now he sees why. Love has no end. It's worth the work. It's worth the hurt of learning to be a family man. There's still some things he doesn't know. He's still learning as he grows about the storms and the dark days. He's sure come a long ways, and it ain't bad. He just like his dad. He's a family man. Working hands can drive a nail. They can wipe a tear and calm a fear with 
without fail Love perseveres And though he falls He still stands tall He's a hero Of the family man There's still some things He doesn't know He's still learning As he grows About the storms And the dark days He's sure Come a long way He gets his strength From his faith He's okay On the road it takes There's no need To worry Yeah he's finding On his journey That it ain't bad He is like his dad He's a family man Beautiful too. I, I love your songwriting, uh, Mike. It's just beautiful. And uh, uh, my, our friend Don up in on uh, up in uh, Ontario is uh, playing uh, percussion in the background. You can't can't hear him, but he's uh, he's having fun with it. So it's well, good. Beautiful. That's what we want people to do is to have fun. That's yeah, what songwriting is about. I I enjoyed. I've been doing. I've been in Nashville now about twenty five years. I was in Atlanta with the Lowry Group down there for about seven years and. Um, it's been a wonderful ride. I will say that this mm. next song is, uh, since we're in Nashville, is going to be a country type of song. It's called uh, Roadhouse Down and Honky Tonk High. Boy. When I rolled out of bed this morning. Down, 
honky tonk pie. I'm in the mood for one hell of a time. Been a long day, I'm feeling parched and dry. Live here, Justin. All right, we got room on the floor for one more couple. Just one more. Just one more, but wow, I, <laughs> that is great. Wow. All right, uh, this be I guess our last song. It's uh, growing up in Oklahoma, a uh, small town. My mother always told me, you know, that if you had any animosity toward another person, you know, you you couldn't throw stones. So uh, this is what it's called. I can't throw stones. Well Two, uh, one, two, three. She was a woman, one in a million, and I let her get away. She was all I ever needed. I still need her today, but she's out dancing. Living the high life, I feel like being blue. It's a hard road, but I gotta face the truth. Now I sit here in the darkness, worry myself today that she's out doing all that I did. Things I can't forget It's gonna cost me Something dearly I think it's gonna be my heart How do I beg her to stop Because I've been there And I've done that While I left her all alone And now it's my turn And it hurts bad but I can't throw stones, no I can't throw stones at all. my fault. I'm looking at the bitter end. What was I thinking? Oh, I wasn't. Now I'm paying for my sin. It's in the Bible, in red it's written. I've heard it all my life. So Lord knows I don't have the right to cry. Because I've been there I've done that while I left her all alone and now it's my turn and it hurts bad but I can't throw stones no I can't throw stones oh I can't throw stones I said I can't Absolutely terrific! I, I, I did, give it on up. Turn on those cameras. Give us some applause to, to Mike. Oh my goodness! Thanks, thanks for having us, Jeff. We really appreciate it. Great opportunity for us. And well, we'd love to have you back, and uh, the, love I, I to did, come back. And thanks for making us smile. You know, <laughs> it feels good. Well, I didn't know I was doing a comedy show. <laughs> well, you know, no, the crowd's different all the time. But oh my goodness, uh, that's good deal. That's good deal. We like uh, when. Brian and I are in a band, six piece band here in Nashville, and uh, we uh, really enjoy getting out and playing. 
So well, we, uh, Harry and I will come and see you in Nashville one of these days, sooner than later. I, I promise you that's that. Great. Yeah. That's but great. I, I do like the I, ability to bring the world together around music. You know, we we have a global audience, and it's just fun. And it's, uh, friends of mine in Ireland are loving your music, and it's just it's just nice to see you all together and connect on those words and the melodies and uh, the life lessons. Like you just can't throw stones. It's true, right? It's well, very true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We appreciate it. We really do. Thank well, you for having us. Thank you, for Brian being here. Keith. Brian, Brian, thank Mike, you guys are awesome. Really, thanks. truly. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, now I'm going to head over uh, to the East Coast, the United States. And uh, Stephanie, That's you're going to take us out and uh, finish up the show. Uh, but uh, before you start, just uh, properly introduce yourself, please. Sure, sure. Um, my name is Stephanie Chin, and I'm in central New Jersey. And I have been really enjoying everybody's performances, everybody's songwriting. Um, everybody has a different style. Could and... you raise your microphone volume up a teeny bit, please? Oh, that's good. That's good. How about this? That's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everybody's been fantastic. I've been really enjoying everyone's songwriting and sharing and different styles and different instrumentations. And uh, it's been fantastic. So I actually don't play an instrument. These, I'm just learning this guitar. This guitar. I'm learning, and this one was just a hand, a hand me down that I don't even know what to do with. But, <laughs> um, but you had asked us to share our musical influences. I yeah. love Sarah Bareilles, Alicia Keys, especially Alicia Keys, um, like not just her music but also her vibe, um, like very spiritual based and positive vibes. And that's what I try to do with my songwriting is put forth some positive vibes. Wonderful. Well, the stage is yours, Stephanie. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. So the first song I'm going to do is an original. It's called Nothing Like, because there's nothing like the one that you love. So. There we go. Honey, how can you be so Nothing like hearing your voice wish me goodnight. Nothing like a smile bright today, my life. Nothing like the solace of your arms, the sweetness of your kiss. Nothing like you. Nothing like your eyes of light with love. Nothing like your intoxicating scent. Nothing like the silence of your arms, the sweetness of your kiss. Nothing like you. Nothing like hearing your voice wish me goodnight. Nothing like a smile bright tonight, my life. Nothing like the solace of your arms, the sweetness of your kiss. Nothing like you. Nothing like your eyes light with love. Nothing like intoxicating. Nothing like the silence of your arms, the sweetness of your 
sweetness of your kiss, nothing like you. Nothing like you. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That was just so much. It's beautiful. Is the sound as good? Sound is good, guys. Sound is good. Yes, I think so. Yes, Thank thumbs so up. Much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do one cover, and it's actually a cover of a cover. I know Emily did a cover of a cover. <laughs> <laughs> so Frankie Valley um, did take "Can't Take My Eyes Off of You," and Lauren Hill covered it. And um, I adore Lauren Hill, and so I hope you will enjoy this one. <laughs> Don't be shy about dancing, too. <laughs> You're just too good to be true. Can't take my hands off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Part in the way that I stare There's nothing else to compare The sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby, to warm the lonely nights. I love you, baby. Trust in me when I say okay. Oh, pretty baby, don't let me down. I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I've found you. And let me love you, oh baby, let me love you, oh baby. You're just too good to be true, can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch, I want to hold you so much. Till long last love has arrived, and I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. I need you, baby. And if it's quite alright, I need you, baby. To warm the lonely nights. I love you, baby. Trust in me when I say okay. my cover of a cover <laughs> and, and what a great cover it is wow thanks uh, there was a question in the chat ali asked do you make the backing tracks yourself um so yes but these were not done by me so the first song was done by by the producer who put who helped me actually release the version for um spotify and all that this one i just found on um 
Spotify. But for my upcoming songs, I'm actually producing all of those myself. So, yeah. Wonderful. So, yeah. My, my new project is learning how to make the tracks myself. Thanks. Thanks, Alex. Okay, so this next song, also done by the producer, is called um, Vision of Us. So this is a, an original. And um, it's a song where, it was my, my latest single was released last May. And it's one where I got the most personal because I was sharing some of the personal struggles that my wife had gone through. And, um, but people have really taken to the song and more of a bigger message because it's really about the battle between fear and love, which if any of you follow A Course in Miracles, everything is either fear versus love. So, um, so that's what this is. This is called Vision of Us, and uh, you can look at it as a vision of us, meaning you and your, your partner, or a vision of us as a, as a country or as a, as a world, since this is a global audience. So I hope you enjoy it. And it was so clear to me early on you were my dream girl vision. But the closer we became, the deeper we fell in love, something else grew. Somehow the depth of our love gave rise to insecurities, and now you question your place with me. There is a way through this, she said you can't see through it. You afloat when you're lost in your sea of doubt. Don't fade away from me. You were made for me. And I was made for you. I'm standing up for love. Hanging on to my vision. My vision of us. You know all I see is me and you. Ups and downs we still ride through More than merely surviving Together we are thriving This could be us But in your past you've been betrayed You worry that my love will stray Your fears, they push you to run away there is a way through this She said you can't see through it Please let me be your eyes Don't let your fears arise Reach for my hope to keep you afloat When you're lost in your sea of doubt Don't fade away from me You were made for me And I was made for you I'm standing up for love Hanging on to my my vision of us Your scars are telling you not to trust Don't dare to ever go without Hear me, my TV, that's history Let's run together a new story Oh yeah, yeah There is a way through this You said you can't see through it Please let me be your eyes Don't let your fears arise Reach for my hope to keep you afloat When you're lost in your sea of doubt Don't fade away from me You were made for me And I was made for you There is
again, just absolutely beautiful words. Thank you. And uh, just real, and your voice is just spectacular. Thank wow. you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So uh, for my final trick, <laughs> my last <laughs> song is, um, is Life is Good. And I wrote this to remind myself that no matter what's going on, um, you know, no matter how bad life may seem, you know, like a lot of people here are, are unable to play out. There's always something you can shift your focus to and remember that life is still good and life is still a gift. I mean, if it wasn't for the pandemic, we wouldn't have this amazing thing. Right? This is yep. true. So, so here's life is good and life is good with people like you, Jeff, supporting original artists. Life is good with all of you here that are supporting original artists. Really appreciate you and, and all the musicians. Thank you. When you got love in your life, oh darling, love for your child, your friend, your wife, oh mother, nothing can beat you down to the ground when you let it flow, powerful. above you pieces of people may grow long around you oh think of the sun above those clouds undisturbed my tears
Life is good live here at Jeff's place. Uh, Stephanie, thank you so much. Thank please you. put on your open those cameras, give some some applause, and uh, please, uh, Stephanie, thank you so much for uh, for making today a special day with us. Uh, it was thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much. It was absolutely wonderful way to end the show. I I like to thank all the performers for being part of today's show. Emily and uh, and Greta, happy birthday, and uh, James and Matt and Bill and Mike. And Stephanie, thank you so much for 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 being part of uh, of today. And uh, shout out to Harry and to Lauren for keeping us um, going. Uh, I have to always acknowledge the producers. You never know. Um, uh, just a couple of announcements for upcoming shows. We have shows on uh, April eighth, April fifteenth. Um, uh, I'm working on the next songwriters in the round, which will be on April twenty second. I haven't figured out who to invite yet. I'm working on that. Also, the I'm. Going to do a music of the 60s show just because I love music of the 60s. And it seems like the covers I hear of some people who, I mean, it's, and whether you interpret it uh, your own way, I don't care, but it's like, um, um, I just love the music of the 60s. So I'm going to do a music of the 60s show and probably in April and probably do a call for those who like to be part of it just to let us know. And uh, I'm very grateful that. Um, I believe it will be the first week of June. We'll be celebrating the 39th anniversary of the Bluebird here with uh, Amy Kurland. She's bringing five of her friends here. I don't know who they're going to be, but uh, she said they'll, she'll, she'll bring her friends. And uh, in July, we'll be celebrating the life and legacy of Harry Chapin with his daughter, uh, Jen Chapin. And uh, that will be fun. So anyway, thank you so much for being part of the show. Please support the artists uh, in the chat. You'll see... Uh, um, the links uh if you can tip please be generous uh and if you happen to be a singer songwriter yourself like to be part of a future show don't be shy you could always reach out to myself uh we have a website graftonstreettv.com where you could uh drop by and apply and uh we will set up time to listen i, I thank the folks at reverb nation for some of the artists we found today i uh I happen to be friends with a founder who happens to be a Long Island person too in the music industry. And so uh, we have a nice relationship there. So anyway, thank you all for sharing positivity. Thank you for sharing your stories. You guys are most awesome. And this is my favorite time of the week. So I'm with much love and I say thank you to all of you. And uh, Greta, I hope you have an amazing year ahead, a very special one. And uh, thank you for uh, for sharing your family's magic with us. Uh, it's just uh, beautiful. So uh, anyway, we're going to end the show. And uh, we'll hang out for a little bit after, but I just want to say thank you all. I am really grateful for all of you for being here. So thank you so much. With much love. And Harry, thank you too. Thank you, Jeff. I see Ben Duffy over there in the crowd. I hope Ben is, Ben, you feeling better? He's back from the hospital. He had appendicitis, I think, right? You feeling better, Ben? I can't. can't hear you, but hopefully you're feeling better. You feeling better? You got your mic? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> his, his mic's off. He's good. feeling better. Okay, good. Good. Uh, now he's muted. <laughs> uh, Don, how are you? You doing good? Doing good. Wow. Um, ah, Steve Stern. Steve is back. Hey, Steve. There we go. I can unmute now. Hi. I'm Hi. doing well. <laughs> yes, I think everyone can unmute now. I think Harry uh, unmuted. I think, uh, I think I'm unmuted well. now as well. So. Uh, you can hear me, right? Yes, yes. Yes, Ben. Sorry, to answer your question, yes, I'm recovering really good. Thanks very much. Lots of support from all the family and everything. So, uh, well, I'm well, well, wonderful. Well, when you're up to it, I'd love to have well, you back on the show. Absolutely, man. Yeah, soon, very soon. Wonderful. <laughs> well, great. All right. And uh, well, I hope you guys had fun today. And uh, Stephanie, it was wonderful to have you close. I really like those tracks. That it was, was really great. Nice. nice job, Steph. Good job. Are you muted? Unmute yourself, Stephanie. Okay. There you go. Okay, thanks, everyone. I got a bail. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Peter. See you again soon. Jeff, we'll talk. Okay, great. Nice Bye. to see you. Good to meet you. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah, you all. Bye, yeah. Good day, good you afternoon, good evening. You. Bye. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks a lot, you guys. Anyway. Thanks. Oh, wow. Bye. Bye. Gio, you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm good, Jeff. Are you you? How are you doing? How, how things I'm, going, Jeff? I'm good. Um, uh, I wasn't kidding. This is my favorite time of the week, right here. Yeah, yeah. No, I can tell you. Do you come alive here? You know what? We were thinking of adding another show, and I, I, we were jokingly calling it uh, Jeff's other place, but I, I, might, <laughs> I might actually do that. 
Why not? Why not, Jeff? Like a day or a week. I think maybe on Tuesdays. I don't know. But it's, you know, the one thing that is working is that we, I, I really appreciate having such an amazing artist community around the world that I, I we're connected with. And uh, I feel bad when, when, I, when I set up the shows and I only have like five, six slots to offer people. And it's like, I like to have more music. And uh, so, but, and then um, I'm working with uh, Mel Rosenberg, uh, Gio, on doing music of the 60s. He just doesn't know it yet. Oh, right. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet. But the, no, but, but uh, uh, Mel knows everything. Ago, in 2019, I did this amazing, amazing thing in Tel Aviv. I did a music of the 60s uh, concert in, uh, at, at a local university. We went out to artists who were from the 60s. Some of them were part of uh, the British invasion. They had all the connections to from Donovan to the Beatles. They happened to be living in and around Israel. And it was absolutely surrealistic and fun. So if I could do it local there, I figured we could do a global. So uh, yeah, why not? this is just for I, fun. You know, it's I like, love the idea. Go for it, Jeff. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's not like we're in a reality TV show and we're winning awards and stuff. I'm actually doing this for the fun. You know, it's just for fun. Dude, for smiles. Well, Maybe it's for smiles. Tuesdays are a good day. It's great, Jeff. Keep it going. I Thank love you, it. Gio. Well, one day we'll ask your friend AJ Croce to come by, okay? Well, you got to write that thing up so I can send it to him. Right. And I, and I think we'll go for Adam Cohn also. Sounds great. I love it. Well, and it's good yeah. to see you, Jeff. You look great. If you huh? get us AJ, I'll get Adam. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. I think, well, look, look I, I'm curious. You know, I have, a, I have, I, I became friends with the sons and daughters of some artists, right? So, you know, growing up, the son of Leonard Cohn is a pretty hefty heaviness there. You know, yeah, you can bring uh, him back. Well, uh, he doesn't like to talk publicly about it. It's like I had dinner with uh, the son of uh, Ivan Reich, uh, of Ivan Reitman, the guy who created Ghostbusters and all these other wonderful comedies, and. Uh, you know, like people don't always want to go into the business of their parents. Sometimes they're forced into it. Yeah, that's true. That, that's a touchy subject. Yes. Bye, Allie. Allie, you good? Oh, you're you're waving at someone else. Bye, David. Oh. Uh, Jeff, well, I'm I'm concerned. I'm concerned, Jeff, that you say it's your favorite of the week when the show's over. What do you but, mean? You know, you're giving us a complex here. Just, no, it's my favorite time of the week. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that I recognize that uh, I look forward to Thursday afternoons more than any other point of, of my week. Uh, and it, and it's, it's really the collective energy, the positiveness, and uh, it, it's it allows me to go into the weekend feeling good. And one day we'll get you a camera. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we'll do a, we'll, we'll do a fun, a fun fund me page, but he has cameras. <laughs> He has many cameras. A photographer. <laughs> and he he's a documentary filmmaker. I have he has probably hundreds of hours of me on camera. He just hasn't figured that out of connected to his computer. But I'm behind the camera. Right. That's my wife. Same thing. She's a photographer. She always wants to be behind the scenes. She doesn't uh -huh. want to. Ah. There you go. Where, where did you get that shy. that energy, uh, Stephanie? You're, I just loved your energy. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I work at it. You know, you do a great job at it. All that. Sure. It was, it was, it was delightful. It was a real, uh, absolutely beautiful. It, it, it showed through everything, yes. your energy. Thank you. That means a lot. That that's everything, actually. So thank you. It was just Very nice. And, uh, My pleasure. You know, we, we, thank we got you. We have a variety of music today, which is so nice. And um, I, I am uh, so I don't know. Maybe one day soon we'll we'll launch Jeff's other place. I we'll see. Tuesdays. If it was up to me, I'd do it. It's just I, I need I need support to, to make these shows happen. It's not it. like I can just say, okay, let's do a show. It takes a lot of effort. I mean, you got to prepare. You have all all sorts of ducks and roll. At least you have Harry and Lauren. They're they're. But you they're, know what I find wow. fascinating is twenty five years into the internet, I take for granted the fact that people could live anywhere. Hi. Literally, as long as they have broadband, we can hear their mute. We'd hear them, and they could be in any part of the world. And it's. Uh, pretty magical that way. So I, um, I'm grateful for that. And, you know, I, I, yeah, I realized 2020 was horrible for particularly for musicians performing, but I do agree that if it wasn't for the, for the pandemic, I never would have actually seriously thought about hosting an event like this. My, my, you know, my hope is post pandemic to actually continue with this because 
I appreciate the need for everyone to be together in real life, uh, in a physical realm. Um, but I don't want to take away the fact that we can create emotional and in intimacy globally by being together and setting the intention to feel that energy. And it's like when, uh, someone's singing a song in, you know, somewhere in a rural Ireland and I cry, you know, that, that to me shows the connectedness of the music and the, and the, and the energy that just transcends time. So, you know, I, uh, the pandemic will pass, the but I, I, I like the idea of having, it's like, I'll, I'll never be able to compete with anyone's local pub, but I'm looking to be the global local. So people feel comfortable coming and playing and, and I'm seriously looking for a place in Dublin to rent out to actually put people on stage if they want to play. But I, I don't want to miss the intimacy of, of the performers being able to see people in their global audience, you know, because I, I think that it's kind of magical. So I, I haven't figured out. I found places to rent out. What I haven't figured out is how to maintain that one to one or one to many, but meaningful connection. Um, so it's uh, a, a work in progress. Well, you know, it's all, uh, it will happen if you want it to happen, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think if we will, we can make anything happen. We just have to. And I, I'm, I'm, this last year of Zooming and watching you and other people, I'm really impressed that the potential of this medium as something that will, will be with us for a long time. And I think we'll be the better for it. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I'm with you. I, I feel it. Um, it's really special and uh you know geo it's you know you know we, we, we th 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 these are things we've spoken about before but it's just in, in the in this in the flow of the moment it just is it's kind of nice um in a good positive way um i, I keep on thinking of the salons that we talked about years no no ago. the salons you spoke about for 25 years that i refused to go be part of <laughs> <laughs> not so loud somebody might hear you uh, I've done other things, you know, but we've been hosting <laughs> breakfast for a long time. And uh, Ben, yes, I'd love to have you back. Uh, uh, you, you, you have so Ben. I'm just curious, how many members of your family are, perform? Um, you, you can't talk. You, you, you can't. I can't hear you. I don't know why. I ask you to mute. But you only can type. Ah. Sorry. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, from my family, uh, I guess like four of us uh, regularly perform. Well, everybody can do a bit of singing. My mother and my sister. So, so you can can you get your parents on screen? Uh, not right now, but I'm sure I can. Actually, my my dad is uh, he's 81 now, and he um, he sometimes has like uh, difficulty with um, at the moment he's kind of having difficulty keeping like uh, consistency to his sentences. He his brain is still working fine and everything, but he's just kind of like he stumbles over his words a lot and he gets very flustered and uh, so my mother suggested maybe he should get into some singing. Uh, he loves singing then. Well, he's kind of very shy about it. So, yeah, well, maybe, uh, if, you, maybe. if you could uh, unshy him a little bit, we'll, we'll be happy to have him as a special guest. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's my uh, my ambition as well. Now, you know, 81 and he starts performing music at this age. I think that's uh, that would be uh, I love that kind of thing. You know, when people get into stuff late, you know. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it's never too late to start, your, you know, to be alive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100 percent. But uh, yeah, what you were saying there about uh, finding some space in Dublin, God, that sounds amazing. I just well, the idea. Uh, you know, look, I, I think what, when when feel when you know, and it, what, so how far away? Are, what county are you in in Ireland? In I'm in Mead, but uh, Dublin is forty minutes away from me. It's it's not oh, far at okay. all. Okay, yeah. I was going to rent out your living room to other people then. No, nope, <laughs> no problem. I already do that. Well, I did that before the pandemic. It was like well, the sound more. that you and your brothers have in that wherever you guys are performing from is most excellent. So, uh, oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah. next week, so I, I don't know if uh, ja, if, if uh, J, so we have a band coming live uh, from from Toledo, Ohio next JT, week. JT's here. JT's here. I, I know JT. Is, is your audio on? Can you can you can you chime in or just text? Well, I know he's here. Anyway, he's um. I I there's a show on YouTube called uh, The Man Cave, and uh, hello, hi, there there you are. Ah, hey, how's it going? Good. Could you tell share people where you're what, what you're um. A little bit about yourself and just say because we, we we some of us know each other here oh yeah um I, i'm from st louis originally i moved up to uh, toledo about four years ago and uh i already had original stuff that uh i you know already recorded and everything but um put a band together up here and um we've been doing the man cave show uh which is kind of similar to your show 
and ironically, the, the guy's name's Jeff Lamb. So we got two Jeffs, <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, we're working and playing around this area and, and, uh, just really love what you guys are doing on the, on the show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What was, so. what, what I, what I tried to explain to Jeff as from the man cave, because if you watch the show, he has local sponsors in Toledo and his right. entire audience is focused on Toledo. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I thought that an experience format like this might be more fun for the performers since you get to see the people you're, you're playing to rather than playing to a screen. Um, oh yeah. But then Jeff gave me pushback that, you know, I'm too global, that he has local sponsors that want to, people in Toledo. Cause if you see the ads, you'll realize that it's local people that are supporting um, the show. But uh, I hope to have Jeff from the man cave on next week uh, with you, at least for people to hear him. Cause uh, some of the artists that have come by his studio are pretty uh, impressive. And uh, for all of us who miss live music, you know, when I heard you on the show, I said, my goodness, wow. Yes. <laughs> I probably appreciate that a whole lot. I was watching, uh, he had a show last night cause he's been doing them on yeah, Saturdays too. Uh, it was, they were really nice too. Yeah. I like that guy. He was using the, uh, like a looper, which is really cool. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, I had one at one time, <laughs> but oh, I've lost it. So it's all good. The, we, we, we've had loopers here on the show. It, it's it, technically challenging for us sometimes. Cause while they're setting up the loop, it's like, uh, they're not, it's hard to perform when you're setting up the loop because you need to, you know, to make it happen. It's part of the song. It's, it's challenging. Right. But uh, anyway, so you, so you'll be, he's the, um, I, 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 we, it, it was, um, uh, became painfully obvious that JT had to close the show next week because he has a band. So if, if he were to uh, play in front of uh, all the other acoustic uh, artists, I figured it would be a little intimidating or at least uncomfortable. So, um, so, so he has, the, he has the sixth position next week and, uh, JT, I think that was well, a good idea. This is the first time I've actually got to, uh, watch, watch the show. I was trying to, and, um, uh, but this is the first time, you know, seeing it live and I'm really loving the, uh, the talent that's on here. Everybody, you know, if they can hear me, they, they all did a great job and I, you know, it's, it's, uh, I hope that, you know, everyone knows it's not about like competition or competing it's about coming together with music and it's a beautiful thing you know and uh no i, it, I like it, it, you know there's the only competition is how many smiles we can create how much love we can share and i think that, it's bountiful and unbounded so it's it's really about uh just that and you will find that you know there are some very young artists i sometimes have on the show and sometimes the show will run late because someone's having a hard day and i do what i can to encourage them to play more so that they feel comfortable. And uh, um, I have a few friends, well, a couple of friends that run American Idol, um, uh, not this season, but many seasons ago, and uh, occasionally they surface here. Um, I, I was thinking of reaching out to some of the artists I was watching in this season to invite them to come here. In fact, one of the kids actually might, but because uh, it's, you know, just because producers reje reject you doesn't mean you're not good. It just means that in reality TV, it just means that you don't fit the mold they need at that moment. It has nothing to do about the talent whatsoever. Um, oh, yeah. I, I remember I auditioned. I almost made it on uh, America's Got Talent. Um, and then I've auditioned for The Voice before. I've auditioned for American Idol. But, um, yeah, it is, it's exactly that, you know. And it, you got to try not to get discouraged, you know. I, it, after doing it for so many years, you just got to kind of just keep trucking forward you know there's people that that like what you're doing you know and, and you just got to find your audience and stuff you know with some things but but yeah it's, it's absolutely like that it's it's a tv show so you have to kind of you know and i had to kind of tell myself that you know just you know it might not be a spot that they're looking for you know no, for their it, television it, so. it, it's just it, uh, yes and uh Look, it's also making it in music. Sometimes you have to be at the right place at the right time. You just don't always know what that right place is. But if you continue pushing, uh, I mean, we've, I've had, uh, I actually have friends that are very famous music producers. I mean, they're famous because the people they produced um, are, you know, you know, top, some of the top talent in the world. So they right. drop by once in a while, but I, what I find very uncomfortable is is getting asking my friends who are very fam who have very famous clientele 
to listen to my friends that I'm discovering on my own show. It's not that I don't ask. It's just that I can't force them to listen. And uh, I, uh, I continue to be a nudnik and push anyway, because I, I am quite convinced that I, I am blessed with amazing talent in front of us, ageless, really. And it's just a matter of, uh, I, I cannot explain why it is now that I don't have a record label, why I'm pushing so hard to uh, have, hopefully bring glory to some of the people that have been here. But I just feel very strongly to help make that happen. So I continue to push. Because there is, I trust, trust me on this. I, uh, I believe some of the people that have been here and will be here are going to be world famous. They just don't know it yet. It just, it will happen. Anyway, um, I, I'm getting the pushback. We, we got to close down the show. Um, you guys are amazing. I, I just wish you much love for the week. And uh, I look forward to, um, to seeing all of you soon. You guys are great. And uh, thanks for making this week and every week very special for me and really for everyone else. And thanks Thank for you, sharing Jeff. your time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank thanks, you. Harry. Thanks, Cheers. guys. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Bye, Uncle I'll see Gio. You guys next week. Bye. See you next week. Ben, Bye. take care. Bye. Feel better, Ben. Bye-bye.